This is Michigan Hoofbeats, and we're at the Midland County Fair today, bringing you the Spartan Futurity. In just a moment or two, we'll have the post parade of the eight fillies in the final for $10,400. Now, on our way to Midland, we happened to stop in Frankenmuth, Michigan, and happened upon the governor of the state, John Engler, and received his undivided attention as we asked him about the state of racing here in Michigan. Well, it's obviously very challenged right at the moment. Uh, we've got some real serious issues that face the industry. I mean, with the closing of DRC coming up uh, with Ladbrook, you know, now I think clearly uh, came in hoping they'd be in the gambling business since they're not, they're not going to be in the horse racing business either. Um, and then that has an impact on the thoroughbred side, on the harness side. Uh, you know, there's still a number of things that have been done. We, we've we changed the law, and I think uh, certainly the simulcast has helped, but we still want to have a strong Michigan-based industry. There's an awful lot of people who are on farm who are involved in the industry uh, from the breeding side uh, to the track and even the back of the tracks. I mean, there's an awful lot of men and women who work there who've got special and unique skills. And that's what they've done. And, uh, and it would be a shame to see that industry driven out by uh, organized gambling. With the proliferation of casinos, uh, how do you see the future of the sport of racing? Well, you know, there are examples, certainly, in some of the states uh, have seen uh, some resurgence in both the harness tracks and in the racing industry. I'd like to see that. It's a historic industry in this state. It goes back an awfully long time. But uh, we frankly need some facilities and we need some ownership that's committed to making it competitive. I mean, that's, uh, that's what has to happen when you've got an industry where uh, the demographics are working very, very much against uh, the industry's future and when you go to a track you you'll see the age of the people who are there it isn't something that's bringing the um, Gen generation X crowd out it isn't bringing the uh, baby boomers out particularly and so uh, you know some of that uh, promotion and marketing skill uh, might make a big difference you currently don't have a racing commissioner what what's your game plan for that well Dan Wyatt is a, an outstanding director of the department and I've asked Dan I mean the issues are so serious and we lost a good man when Nelson Western went over to the uh, casino gambling issue to uh, sort that out. And uh, Nelson put the deputies who are really on the day-to-day -day basis in place. They're good people. But uh, I've asked Dan to really let's, let's keep talking with the industry leadership. And I, I mean, if there's any silver lining, it's probably that there's more willingness on all parts of the industry today to talk to each other and be at the same table. And that has... Unfortunately, I think we paid a heavy price for past disagreements in the industry. Just two more questions. One is the industry is looking for a, a level playing field with the casinos. It has been proven in other states that uh, having machines in the racetracks, which right now there's parking there, they are regulated. Uh, what is your position on perhaps having slots inside the racetracks? Tracks are not going to become casinos. No, they won't become a casino. but That's they, right, it, they won't. But it, are, are, are the slots a possibility or not at all in your mind? We find the slots at the casinos. We find the racing at the tracks. Okay. And the two don't mix in your mind? They do not. Okay. And one final thing. There is legislation pending, I understand, to take out more money, Michi or at least Michigan, uh, in the uh, racing industry, takes out less money uh, on exotic wagers than any other state. Uh, and that extra money could go towards the industry uh, in the form of purses and promotion. What is your plan for passing that legislation? Well, everything's on the table. I mean, we're going to continue to work with the industry. and. I think, uh, you know, when simulcasting was passed, there was a lot of hope and it has been helpful. Uh, it's also, uh, though, uh, raised the handle at some of the tracks without doing much for the actual live horse racing that's going on. I, I guess the industry is just looking for a time frame, that's all. Any time frame how long this would take? Well, we don't have a legislature in session right now, so uh, nothing can happen. Uh, I suspect that uh, this is part of an overall strategy. Thank I, you. I really appreciate your time. Hey. The governor certainly does know there is a racing community out there, but it's up to all of us to keep him aware of it.